At this point, we've learned how to solve for every variable in our compound interest formula. We've solved for the amount A, the principal P, and even the rate R. And the only one left is our time, T, our exponent. And prior to learning about logs, the only good way to solve for this exponent was trial and error. That is, keep plugging in different exponents, or times, until you can find a matching output. Definitely not very efficient. But now, with our new knowledge of logs, we can solve for that time in an intelligent and efficient way. Example, Paige invested $5,000 and is making 10% per annum compounded annually. So how long would it take for her to have a total of $6,600? Well, let's resort to our compound interest formula. And in this case, we have to rearrange our equation to solve for t. So let's try and isolate that t. First, we'll switch sides to get the t on the left. And then, let's divide both sides by p, the principal. And the p's cancel out. And what next? Hmm. Normally, we'd be stuck here. but now that we know about logs, we can continue on. So let's log both sides. And we incorporate the power rule so the t is out front now. And we see that we can divide both sides by log 1 plus r. And they cancel. And there we go. The algebraic solution for t. And we can plug in our numbers. a over p would be 6600 over 5000. And the rate 0.1, so 1.1 as our base here. And we pull out our calculator, and we get 2.9. And that's our number of compounding periods, remember? So we have to look back. We compound each year. So our answer is 2.9 years.